It's time for our first look at the web. TV6's Molly Birch is at the TV6 digital desk. Molly, what's trending today? Well, the Rust movie armorer convicted of, in, convicted of involuntary manslaughter will serve the maximum punishment for her crime. Today, a New Mexico judge sentenced Hannah Gutierrez-Reed to 18 months in prison. A jury found her guilty last month for the 2021 onset shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. She was acquitted of a separate charge of evidence tampering. Gutierrez-Reed's job as armorer made her responsible for gun safety and storage on set. Hutchins was killed when a live round of ammunition fired from a prop gun that actor Alex Baldwin was holding. The film's director was also shot but survived. Gutierrez-Reed, who did not testify at trial, had no visible reaction to the sentencing. Prosecutors asked that she be sentenced to the maximum prison time, arguing she had not taken any responsibility for her actions. Baldwin is also charged with involuntary manslaughter, and he's expected to stand trial in July. He's pleaded not guilty and maintains he did not pull the trigger. Ben? Thanks, Molly. What else is trending today? Well, Nike is facing backlash over one of its new outfit designs for the U.S. women's track and field Olympic team. Nike recently released these images of the outfits ahead of the 2024 Paris Olympics. The women's leotard with its high-cut bikini line quickly triggered a wave of cri criticism on social media. Nike issued a statement saying the leotard design is one of many styles to choose from and tailoring options will be available. A spokesperson for USA Track and Field confirmed the collection includes 50 unique pieces and said Nike consulted with athletes throughout the design process to ensure they are comfortable. Back to you, Ben. Thank you very much, Molly.